Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego, and today I'm going to be talking about how to choose your bridesmaids, groomsmen, flower girl, and ring bearer. So the first thing I want to say is that you do not have to have only women in your bridal party if you're a bride, and you do not have to have only men on your side if you are a groom, or vice versa. I fully believe that you should have the people you love, and if that includes men and women, then have them both. I had two bridesmaids and one bridesman, and it was incredible, and I can't have imagined my wedding day without my friend Chris in my bridal party. So it was incredible to have. I do have my cat Kudzu here with me, so she's making an appearance. Oh, <laughs> and she's gonna lay over my arm. This is her favorite thing to do. So she doesn't have a lot to say, so I'll say it for her. When it comes to actually choosing these specific people in your bridal party, choose the people who you love and you can't imagine your wedding day without. You're gonna be spending the most time with people in your bridal party, so please do not feel pressure to include people that you really don't want there but feel like you have to have them. So for example, I know someone who's like, oh, I've gotta put my two cousins in here, my mom thinks I should. You don't have to do that. If you aren't that close with them, don't put them in your bridal party simply because they're family. Same goes with if you have a sister or a brother you're not that close to, they don't have to be in your bridal party and they don't have to be in your groom or your bride's bridal party. So I fully believe that you should only have the people that you truly care about in the way that you want them there your entire wedding day with you. You still love the other people, but they don't have to be in your bridal party. Now, same thing sort of goes for flower girl and ring bearer. Just because so-and-so has kids doesn't mean you have to choose them. If you don't even want kids at your wedding, don't have the flower girl or ring bearer. Or if you don't want the kids at the reception, have a pair for the ceremony and then send them home afterwards. That's completely fine and acceptable to do. It's your wedding. You can do it the way that you want to. Now, I will say don't let anybody shame you or pressure you into adding people, whether it's the people themselves requesting to be in the bridal party or somebody else saying you should put this person in or you should put that person in because X, Y, and Z. All you have to do is say, hey, sorry, we've already chosen our bridal party. Um, that's all you have to say. You don't owe them anymore, actually. You don't have to give an excuse. You can just say, we've already chosen the bridal party and finalized it. All you gotta say, super simple. There's not much they can argue with about that. If you give them an excuse, some pushy people will find an answer to it. If you say, oh, we already have, um, I don't know, too many people, it's getting expensive. A person might say, oh, well, I can pay for this and that. So people will weasel themselves in if they're pushing people, do not let them. Don't give an excuse, just say, we've already finalized it. Now, when it comes to the amount of people, I always say that less is a lot easier. If you have only three and three on each side or four and four on each side, then that is going to take a lot less time for photos and it's also going to be a lot more manageable to get everybody organized and kind of coordinate all the people. If you've got 14 and 14 on each side, expect the bridal party photos to take double. That will take away time from your bride and groom portraits unless you extend portrait time. But also just know that the more you have, the harder it is. If you want a thousand people in your bridal party, do it. Just know that it does come with consequences, whether that's good or bad for you. So that's pretty much it. I am going to be trying to do maybe only two videos a week for the next couple of weeks because I have a lot of really fun travel trips. I am going to be working in San Francisco. Maybe by the time this video is posted, I'll be back, but I am going to be doing really fun engagements up there. I'm going to be going to Europe later this June, which I'm very excited about. So I've got a lot of things coming up where things are getting pretty busy. I've also recently become a writer for Style Me Pretty, which is very exciting. So you can go check out my articles there. I will link them down below. So I've got a lot going on. So I might drop down to two videos a week that I am now starting to run out of ideas. So I would really love it if you guys could ask a question or suggest a video idea in the comments below because there's only so many things in my head at a given moment. Sometimes I need a little bit of inspiration to make videos on. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!